Hello scholars, we are back for more science and it is going down. Why is it going down? Because you are amazing and because science is amazing too. Yes. And today we're going to be talking about a really, really fun topic. Why is it fun? Because we're going to be doing investigations and investigations are absolutely awesome. What are we going to be investigating? We're still talking about this thing called matter. We're still talking about the fact that matter has measurable physical properties and that these properties help us determine how to classify matter. And we know to classify is to break into groups. Let's get it. Yes, we are breaking matter into groups. And what we're breaking it into groups around today is a word called mixture. M-I-X-T-U-R-E-S. M-I-X-T-U-R-E-S. Ah, yeah, I could put it into a song, but I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna stop there because then this will turn into rap hour and it just won't it won't go anywhere. We're gonna stop there, all right? But it's mixtures that we're gonna be talking about. And what is a mixture? Oh, I'm so glad that you asked. I was just hoping that you were gonna ask that question. A mixture is when we take two or more things and we put them together. But here's the key: both of them maintain their physical properties. Oh my goodness, what does that word even mean? All right, so if we take this marker, this marker has physical properties. We've been talking about being able to classify matter based on physical properties. This marker has physical properties. This marker, this marker is shaped kind of cylinder shape. It is blue, it's a solid, it is, what else can we do? There's, there's it's smooth. Right, So there's all of these physical properties about this marker. And with a, a simple mixture, if I take this marker and I throw it into this bag that is full of all kinds of things, like the marker in the bag, let's see what happens. I can put the marker in the bag, I can close the bag up, I can shake the bag up, twist it upside down, move it to the right, toss it from hand to hand, and guess what? If I go back in the bag, and I come off in here, I can separate this marker very easily because the marker maintained all of its physical properties. The marker did not become the scissors. It did not change color to green. It did not change shape. It did not become a liquid. Nothing changed about this marker. I was able to mix it in the bag and it maintained all of its physical properties. That is a simple mixture. It's when we take two or more things and we put them together. You wanna write it down? Okay, I'll write it down since you asked. So when we take two or more things and we put, I know you're gonna get on me for my E. I'm gonna fix my E, okay them together and then there's two important things one they are easily separated and two they maintain their physical properties And guess what? Mixtures are all around us. When I go to the restaurant and I order a salad, did you know that my salad is a mixture? I can take a tomato and just eat a tomato. I can grab a piece of lettuce and just eat a piece of lettuce. I can grab a piece of cheese and just eat a piece of cheese because the salad is easily separated and each part of the salad maintains all of its physical properties. You're surrounded by mixtures. I'm surrounded by mixtures. We're surrounded by mixtures because the whole world is full of mixtures. We can find them everywhere. I can grab a random bag out of the science lab and guess what? Each object in here now composes a mixture, but I can easily separate these objects. I can say, oh my gosh, this is a plastic spoon and this is a metal spoon. And although they were mixed together, their physical properties did not change. Where 
have you seen a mixture? I'm sure you've seen mixtures everywhere. I'm thinking in your mind right now of other mixtures that I've seen. Can you think of a mixture that you've seen? Where did you see it at? Where did you notice that? How did you interact with the mixture? Now that you're looking back on it, if you had to describe why it was a mixture, what would you say? That's what we're learning. We can actually classify matter as a mixture. Objects that when they're placed together, they do not lose their physical properties. They are easily separated and we can look at them and see their physical properties and we know that they are a mixture. I hope today that you are now able to define and explain the characteristics of mixtures. And if you're not able, just look behind me because I have it written on the board. Like it's right here. It's literally right here. It's literally right here. So here's what I want you to do. If you have a journal, I want you to try to do it from your brain. Do it from your brain first. What is a mixture? Write it down. Think about it. Write an example off in your journal. But if you're struggling a little bit, I'm not going to tell you that the answer might be somewhere around here to kind of help you out. I'm just not going to tell you that because if I did, you might take a hint and then you might see that the answer is somewhere really, really close to me, right? All right. So a mixture is another way that we can classify matter. And now you know what a mixture is because you are awesome, genius scholars, and y'all are doing great, great, and amazing things. We will be back on with more very soon.